mission is to infiltrate Giga City and halt the activities of Epsilon's organization, the Rebellion. I'm afraid the team that went in before you has likely perished. You are our final hope. If you fail this mission, then we, we will have no choice but to launch an indiscriminate assault on Giga City. The whereabouts of Epsilon are unknown. But we're getting an energy reading from a certain area of ruins. Survey the ruins first. Nobody to greet us, eh? Just as I expected. The radio's useless. I can't believe they sent only the three of us to infiltrate this huge island. I mean, we're good, but I don't know if we're that good. A large force would be cumbersome. Keep things small and sleek, huh? I'm no great hunter like you two. But believe me, I know this island's layout. Well, we're in your hands, Shadow. Okay, let's move. I know the perfect place for a hideout. Are you two okay? X, use those stairs. We'll meet up top. This could be a trap. Be careful. Finders keepers for any goodies. And welcome to Let's Play Mega Man X Command Mission. I had a whole title and everything to do that, but with the Hapog, some PS2 scenes cutting in from back the for back and forth can get kind of. Uh, I don't know what it is. I remember um, Duels of the Roses did the same thing. So I'd uh, just come in through here with mostly gameplay. I hope it doesn't happen again. In any case, this takes place after the events of X6. It is the only RPG turn-based ba uh, based game. Unlike the Legend series, which is more action-based, as you saw earlier. I did the first one before. Already our first suit device. It's a good thing to have around. Then we move around a little bit. We got our cool scarf. We really get to see it when we hit the triangle button and dash into these. Some of that, uh, already got some zenny and a uh, build item. A couple of different stats here. This one's uh, LE for uh, life energy. Gonna throw that on here real quick. Get him another 10 L LE max off the bat. Whoops, hit the wrong button. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Should be hitting triangle to back out just one way instead of circle, which backs me out completely. That's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, let me go over real quick. Sub tanks. They work differently in this game, as you can see, you don't expend a whole one, you could spend a certain percentage to use a full one. If you're going to heal the entire party, it does use a full one. You can see I got two complete ones right now, I'll be getting more as the game goes on. If you need just a little, like, a quarter of your health back, you can just use 20% of it, half, and maximum. I did that again, items, let's see, picked up that for heals virus status. Revives a person and recovers 25%. A weapon, sub weapons, force medals, and key items. And I keep pushing the wrong button. I'm so used to circle backing out of things, not backing out of every single thing. I don't have anything right now, but we have a, a main weapon and two sub weapons here. I hit the right button that time, good. Status. So we got power, which is how strong we are, speed, how fast we are, and, and how many turns we get. And then two different types of defense. Armor, defense against combat or melee. Shield, which is defense against shot or projectiles. If our fire, water, thunder, next experience. What next we gotta go to to get to the next level? Uh, FM slots, I'll get to that later on once we actually grab some force medals. For now, heading to the second door you see here. 
You can see like the nice little uh, nice little map screen on the bottom there. Even with it, I'll probably end up getting lost. It's, you know, it's, it's easy right now, but whoo. -hoo. Wait, we disabled that to open that door on the way at the end. You might have seen like a lock icon over it at the end there. Used to be a security terminal. Mark motherfucking Gatha, man. I think it was this in X8 where he was in. I don't know if it was X7 as well. I think they had like different voice actors. I, I had X7 for a while and regretted it. It's the only X game I never finished all the way, never gave myself the strength to. And this was, of course, after X6, which was kind of the falling off point for some of you. And I actually went, did go through that. I... So yeah, one side is blocked off and so is the other. So they correspond with one another. So they're working one side while we're going solo with the other. Went through here. Now that door opens. Oh, our first random battle. Hope you love these. I'm gonna be cutting these out. Yeah, I'd tell you try using the sub weapon this on this uh, wild patrol dog at 400 life energy. Let's see, I hit the the square and circle first to get my shots out, and then do damage with the man attack because that ends your turn. The X. You see him attack me with a uh, something called shield peeler. That can be kind of annoying because it drops your. Uh, my shield, which of course, like I mentioned, is defense against its shots and its projectiles, which means it's going to start doing more damage. Another fighter, so I should get another level. Dash up these steps to the next floor. I don't know if I'm going to need. I'm going to try and do a chapter of video, really, because it can be short, in at least for now, but there's a lot of grinding you want to do involved. Okay, cool. I, I managed to show that off as well. The, uh... You, you beam down like that, it shows off, hey, you got the first attack off, so I can waste this guy, no problem. You can see the sub-weapons take up some of my uh, weapon energy there. Oh, I got tank energy 10, which means if you did use some, you get some back. If you level up, you do fully heal, and you'll get more, you get bigger stats and everything else as well, so there's that also. Go to the middle floor, I got a feeling you'll find something there. What he means is right here, these yellow gems, dash through, tank energy 25. Now, they're already full, so you see that X icon over there, so even though I dash through it, it'll still be there when I come back, or if I'm coming out of a random battle, it'll still be there. It's, it'll only not come back if I've actually dashed into it, because I'm using it to refill lost sub tank. so it's just something to remember. When we see a couple pods in here, we gotta check, ultra mobile bobcat. Reploid while Django. On the side, there's four of them that check here. Dr. Psyche. It's all good. Third one is Silverhorn. And finally, Mock Gentra. Once you know you'll know you've done this successfully if you get a message from Zero. Four pods here, they've all finished projection, and Reploids have already hit left. Eight robot masters? I would have never guessed! We only get to see and hear about the first four. Check the upper floor, up there's the door, don't need to unlock them. Okay, now we can head to the next floor. Get out of here. Hopefully I don't stumble around with the camera too much, even though I know that's going to be a certain do. At this button here, I also have a... There it is, my R2. It's a quick turnaround. In this room, dashing here, anti-lock. Protects against the uh, bind or paralyze. Up in here. Both of these will give you some money. Into this door now. Up these stairs. One of these to go through another tank energy. Some doors before, this time there's two of them to check. Scarface. Over on this side. The main bad himself, Epsilon. Yeah, no Sigma in this game, believe it or not. So 
Epsilon's super fucked. Could it be the Maverick virus? Also, he's got two on his side as well. Four high performance units, eight combat units. Better go upstairs to move them. This room. Oop, get the gem in the way. So I've been far running the other enemy down here. Ooh. Maybe yeah, I will dash into that. Nope! I get another sub weapon, the melt missile. Might cost a little more weapon energy to use it though. So I'll stick with my what I have now. This room, however. Another security to disable. Not synchronized. Turn on this side received a synchronization signal. You have to be operated simultaneously. So three audio signals. I gotta keep quiet for this, so I can because I gotta hit it like on the third. So I gotta get the timing right, so. I think I got it. Yeah. It's pretty exact. Like you get you can you gotta get like the rhythm down. It may take like a try or two. Anyway, there was a quick loading screen there I had to cut out. Why? Because this! You try to leave that room, you get into this particular enemy. You can rebellion troops commencing attack. The Prion Chaser at 600. Oh, he's going first too. Because I didn't level up yet. I'll be able to off this fight though. I still level 1? Yeah, I haven't run into anything. I'm used to running into fucking... Uh, the bat enemies, called bat bones, which are only a hundred HP, which are easily dealt with. Oh, yeah, two turns and knock it out. You're just like taking it out in two turns, not three. But again, it's because I didn't level up. But you do get a uh, these tiny dangle items. Mm? Ooh, almost. Well, I got two. Closing in on three. Seen this kind of enemy before. Well, we're gonna be seeing a lot of it. The prions. We got force medals in battle. This will tell us what that does. Close your window. You can see up there our status shows our present level, max current life energy, weapon energy, pace icon, hyper mode activations. Two is our stats over there. You can see the, the number two. Blue numbers represent the parameters which will be, which will be increasing. Red is the decrease. Oh, that's a rough stick. Three is our FM slots. This is how many uh, force medals we can equip to our character. Uh, some get as many as four. Some as low as two, I believe. If I'm remembering correctly, depends on the character. Show us all FM in your inventory. Yeah, it's just the that'll just list on the side. You can use R2 to. Sort them and right stick to change pages. I'll slap a uh, force medals on him right now. X heart. So revive once from KO with 10% of life energy. It can come in useful. Use triangle in that circle. Then we throw on the L life energy plus 100. So I'll get a little more, but as you can see, the erosion three. Erosion. You can only equip cert like this like your erosion of course will go up as you level up so you can't equip like super duper heavy shit at the very beginning cuz they might have like a big erosion number but you're okay as long as the as long as the number doesn't it, the number on the right has to be lower than the number on the left as you can see right there you know it's still like 10 greater than 3 that's true so if it's higher you're gonna uh, suffer some stat effects in battle. Like sometimes you get like a automatically like a status effect, or your life will only be like seventy at seventy five percent capacity. You know, shit like that. Tank energy fifty. Whatever. I grabbed myself another anti lock and another level off top of that thing. An essential room, but I don't see anything here. I'm gonna appear to be waiting for you on the central floor. It's that room in particular, but don't go there just yet. We have a save, another safe place over here in three things to grab. I'll back up. A build shield, which will plus one to our shield. A stat automatically in another safe point. Don't worry about that room yet. We won't be hitting that up till way later in the game. 
Once you've taken care of all that, I would hang around here, maybe get a couple levels here and there. I say that because I'm going to load another save unless this is... Damn it, I keep getting prions. All right. Let me load up another save where I'm actually high level. A little higher level. I think I'm around six or seven. Yeah, there's going to be quite the, a bit of grinding <laughs> in this game. Okay, ran into another enemy on my way here. I'm now, uh, as you can see, I got a lot more life energy. I'm level seven now. It took me, according to the save file, an hour to get all that together. <laughs> I'll bust him up to weaken him. I actually almost killed him. Wow, okay. Now he's gonna summon, uh, this is the Prion Bitmaster. A little, uh-oh. Don't freak out on me, controller. Sorry, it does that sometimes. All right, want to aim for... The bits themselves don't have much HP. I think they only have like 100 or something like that. So there's just... They go down as quick as the um, the bats. The other thing I wanted to show off is you got a bunch of enemies you can take out at one, one time. You want to take everything out really quickly. It's kind of risky to throw out there. This will actually like... um If I don't kill them, it's a... My turn order is going to fuck up. It's a... It's a big maneuver. It's the R2, the action trigger. You can see me scroll down. Hold that shit. Charge it up for all my weapon energy. That's the other reason I have, like, big uh, weapon energy. Sometimes you want to hold off and let that build up to 100% because at that level, it crits automatically and usually knocks shit down. And I'm having the controller again. Ugh, hang on before I get to this door. can't believe I got into another battle trying to fiddle with the fucking controller. <laughs> That's really all it takes. Sometimes I can just, like, walk two steps and get into another random battle. Yeah, it's that kind of RPG. <laughs> well, since I played with them, like, kind of old-school mentalities to it. Anyway, we come to this door. Zero joins the party. Who the heck is this? Just in fucking time, too, for this boss, the Hippo Presser. At 5,000 life energy. The missile up top is kind of the big threat we gotta take out first, because if it goes off, it's gonna do 500 Ellie worth of damage. So X is gonna take care of that right quick and take it out in one go, because I'm high at level. Forcing him to waste a turn to bring it back and do some damage. Alright, so zero. So I'm. The Hippo Presser itself. You want to save for zero because uh, his head blocks shot attacks. A little more susceptible to uh, combat, which zero is a master of. So, swing it. I want to build up. When I'm building up my weapon energy to. Right, I think I can exit a little bit because that's the only thing I can hit do right now. Shark missile charge. All right, he's got another one coming back in. A powerful enemy, press triangle to engage hyper mode. When you press triangle to do all sorts of things in the menu. Mmm. Missed it one. This next turn I'll be able to finish it off. Uh, let's see. I'm getting up there. I'm just swing away at this thing. Crack here peered in Hippo Presser's head, it means it's. It has almost destroyed itself. I'm just gonna shoot it so I let my uh, weapon energy build. Okay, he's at full. Time to show off his uh, hyper mode. Fortified armor you can equip for... You can have on for three rounds. Three turns of zero until it disappears and it goes back to normal. But anyway, the the black suit that's made its presence in uh, the PlayStation era. I think in X4, X5, there's codes for that. Alright, now I can with a... Uh, and on top of that, I'll do my action trigger. R2, now that I have weapon energy 100%, we'll see what his does. Throw him corresponding. Get a bunch out. Try to get a lot of breakthroughs to cut through his shields. Alright, I got 
must have been there. Boom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Right now he's open to. I still gotta deal with that, but he's open now. so he doesn't do a hefty damage, even though now the hip is going to do quite a bit. Come on, heat haste. See what that does. Gives him an extra hit. Now it opens up the Hippo Particle Cannon, which can sometimes stun, which it did. Son of a bitch. You can see my turn order is a lot slower now. Well, in that case, I will... Charge shot. Charge shot. I'll take out the missile and do some damage to Hippo Presser as well. Now that he's open. Not 100% I wanted, but fine. Alright, so I got one more shot left. This is why I leveled up, otherwise, this fight takes forever. He's still going for me. Uh, and he's out. And he's back to normal. Doing two days. Maybe I can finish him off this round, hopefully. Uh oh. Getting down there. I'm not sure what sub tank does. Uh, well, I just showed you. But, um, give yourself 50. Make sure I'm aiming for the right person. Is it up and down? Ah, there we go. Hopefully it doesn't stun Zero if he's going for him now. Eh, he keeps laying it in on me. Oh, I fixed it. Okay, cool. There we go. Probably could have finished him off with that last hit. XP plus 30%. If you, yeah, if you do it quickly enough, you'll get like even more bonuses for XP. That's the first boss. We get a fire missile, which uh, does like the regular missiles we've been using, so it takes a little more uh, energy out of me. But a guard buster as well. It's a little bit of a stronger weapon for X. Full level up and a half for zero. Almost one for me as well. Okay, we got zero with us now for the remainder. Before we take that door. Get these two uh, force metals, plus one to speed and power. I think they're all uh, another uh, three erosion, so you should be able to put them on X just fine. Tank parts. Think heart pieces. Collect four, and you get a full tank. Here. Get some money. Get these steps now. Two gems. Reboot in a vaccine program through this door. Shadow, are you okay? Yeah. But look. Huh? Epsilon? Indeed. Epsilon, the Rebellion Army Commander. Well, well. So the great commander came out just to greet us? I have heard many things about you. The great Maverick Hunters. X and Zero. You truly are elite refugees. Won't you fight alongside us? Fight for a common vision. Shut your trap, Maverick. You're in no position to make offers. This is three versus one, buddy. Oh, what is it? Uh. Shadow? No way! Shadow is a believer. He understands our goals. 
Whose side are you on? Okay, Epsilon. My answer is... Join us, X. I don't care what your vision is. You're still a bunch of mavericks. And as you know, I am a maverick hunter. Shadow, I can't forgive you. Why, you? You won't get away! Let him go. He will be back. My subjects, the time has come to show the world our vision. Sad face. Thus concludes Chapter 1 and the... This episode as well. I don't need to save over again. Like I said, I'm gonna try and shoot for a chapter, an episode, unless they start getting get too big and maybe it's like two. You never know. I did cut. I, like I said, I did like an hour of grinding just to get past this a little bit easier. Even then, I was still kind of going through. So this one might take a while. But in any case, I didn't know I was at the fight master fucking Asia. I guess we'll continue our struggle against the Rebellion Nick or... Wait, we're the... Wait, aren't we the Rebellion or something? I... This game... <laughs> Next time on Let's Play Mega Man X Command Mission!